hey tubies it's psychic Bob well I'm here today but barely here I'm having a really rough day and I need all of your prayers last night I was severely attacked by federal agents with directed energy weapons and uh, I may yet have to go to the hospital I started having internal hemorrhaging they used a sonic weapon busted up my head blood came out of my ear and uh, they hit me in the chest so hard that I passed out and I awoke to choking on blood so I'm not in a bad space right now I'm bleeding seems to have stopped but it's been pretty bad so I know some of you that uh, were supposed to have private readings today I've had to reschedule them I just need a, some healing today and a rest so don't worry uh, we're getting you back on the schedule okay so please please understand I normally don't cancel readings but today I have thank you for being here anyways as I'm walking I'm near the water and water and walking are always healing to me I've noticed across the way here you can see in the park it's starting to get greener over there can you see the patch of green through the trees it's a sign spring is getting closer and now that we're at March, happy March by the way, I'm feeling more hopeful. You know it's funny, I don't know about you guys, but winter used to be my favorite season. Maybe I'm just getting older, but I don't like winter anymore. I really like the warmer weather. I don't have arthritis or anything like that, but I don't know, my body doesn't handle the cold as well as it used to, I guess. I guess that's life. Oh, you can see the green of, through the trees now. Look at this. Can you see over on the far hillside how green that is? Isn't that beautiful? Definitely a sign of spring. Today's vlog is not going to be very exciting, but I hope you'll come along with me as I just take some restorative healing time and do some walks. Go get some food to eat. I, I'm ready to eat something. Come on along. Here I am coming up to the great grandmother tree. I like to come to this tree. It restores my soul, gives me energy. You know the ancient druids honored trees and they they knew the wisdom and power of trees. And so I'm gonna come up here and see our great grandmother tree. This tree is about 300 years old. Isn't that amazing? Actually, a little over 300. It's an historic landmark in Alexandria, Virginia. As you can see, we're at the base of this ancient tree, 300 years old. It brings me a lot of joy. It's a beautiful tree. And I think we can draw power from the energy of the trees. You can see the Park Service has put a lightning rod on this. This tree has had a few lightning hits. But she keeps resurrecting and surviving. It gives me hope. As a targeted individual, this tree reminds me that I will live and I will resurrect. Soon this tree will have its leaves coming out. It's going to be beautiful. So we'll make sure to show that to you as well. <sighs> Despite my brutal assault, I'm actually feeling rather ravenous. So I'm trying to decide what to get. I think I'll eat something soft because I don't know if there's still damage to my esophagus or stomach. So I'm going to eat soft food. So maybe some pasta. I'm look at the menu here. They got a lot of different pastas that I like. For all my vegetarian friends, take a look. Sega Bob's eating a salad, crisp and green. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, <clears throat> I ordered lasagna and it's massive. <laughs> I don't think I could eat it all, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> 
Ah, <sighs> nothing like a little rest and good food to start to restore one. Well, Tubies, that was a great lunch. I think I'll go down here and do some shopping now. How's that sound? Come on along. Today's Thinking Bob is not up to going to CVS, so I'm going to go to Rite Aid. I never have bad experiences at Rite Aid. That's why I like it. But while I'm here, i got to buy some body wash. I like these liquid soaps. And I just recently tried this one. This is the Old Spice. It's two in one. It's shampoo and body wash all in one, so you don't have to buy shampoo. It's all together. Isn't that cool? I'm going to try it. And while I'm here, I need to buy some combs. So I'm looking at combs because I ran out of all my combs. Do you ever like lose combs? I don't know. I always lose my combs. Anyways, this looks good. This is cool. Ten pieces styling combs. Now these are these feel really solid. I like thick combs because if you buy really chintzy combs, they break. Have you ever had combs that just break? Or the teeth are so sharp they scrape you when you get <laughs> your hair. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not doing any of that. I'm gonna buy some good combs. These actually look kind of cool. Maybe I'll get these. Actually, I think I like this pack better because the other one has stuff that's more like professional styling. Like, this is just basic combs. I can actually see what I got. There's some weird looking things in the other pack, so I think I'll go with these. I got 12 combs. I think that'll last me for a while. Oh, Tubies, here we are in the Easter Isle. All this holiday stuff makes me in a good mood. I'm feeling better already. Look at these precious little bunnies here. They're only about two inches big. Little chocolate lint golden bunnies. Aren't those precious? I just love them. And look at this. I love Cadbury cream eggs. This year they make them in miniature. Isn't that precious? I just love these sort of things. And there's Ferrara Rocher eggs. Oh, Girardelli's coming. I didn't know Girardelli. Everybody's getting into this Easter stuff. I'm telling you. Oh, there's the classic Cadbury cream egg. Y'all ever had those? I love those. Mm-mm, good. Oh, and Tubies, look what I just spied. These are like metallic Easter eggs. Oh, I love those. They've got tons of eggs here. Baskets. Look at that. Oh, this is pretty. $2.99 for a whole thing of metallic eggs. Oh, I like that. That's kind of neat. Oh, look at this. A giant golden egg. It's a massive one. I'm liking that. It says, large enough to hold a gift card. That's cool. It's only a dollar nine. I might get one of these big golden eggs. That's very magical looking. Look at oh, there's a leopard skin eggs, a zebra eggs. Now, I don't know any any uh, birds that lay Easter eggs that have zebra pattern, but you never know. Oh, how much fun! <laughs> I tell you, these sort of things make me feel good, and they make me feel like a kid again. They really do. Oh, I just turned the corner and look what I found. A giant chocolate bunny. Look how big that thing is. There's my hand. Oh my God. Russell Stouffer chocolate bunnies. Oh, there's a Reese's peanut butter chocolate bunny. Oh my God. You know, I love chocolate. Oh, look, there's white chocolate. Do you know when I was a kid, I had my first white chocolate and uh, I loved it. I love white chocolate too. Mmm, so good. Oh, Tubies, look at these. These little bunnies, they're cute in a little basket. Little chocolate. They're by Lint. I love Lint chocolate. Oh, and here's some big golden bunnies. Look at these. Yum. Oh, God, I love these. Oh, I'm telling you, this Ostara has got me in a spring mood. I'm telling you, I'm ready for it. Bring it on. Oh, look at these, all these colorful things. Oh, a little lamb. I think it's a lamb. Is that a lamb? Looks like a lamb to me. Oh, that is precious. Oh, that might have to go home with Psychic Bob. <laughs> little lamb. <laughs> and there's frogs and more Easter bunnies. I'm telling you. I don't care what anybody says. Looks pretty pagan to me. I don't mind it. Oh, and look, guys, I stumbled upon some chocolate. That's my speed. 
Easter candy. It says Russell Stouffer, three for 99 cents. So I can get any of these eggs. Three for 99. Look, ooh, look at this. Is it a truffle egg? Oh, I think that's going home with Psycho Bob. We got, ooh, a dark chocolate marshmallow egg. <gasps> Oh, a raspberry whip egg. Oh, I'm telling you, temptation has taken over. <laughs> I'm gonna buy some chocolate. There's some drama going on up here at Rite Aid. I don't know what's going on, but the police are out. All sort of drama. You never know. Well, we'll go on along and see what there is to see today. So come on along. Well, from what I found out listening to the police, it sounds like somebody tried to go into Rite Aid and uh, use a credit card that was stolen or something like that and then was arguing and ran out of the store so I don't know weird stuff I'm staying out of it looks like it's gonna rain you can see our skies getting dark no sign of our Sun Lord I need to go home and lay down and rest it's been a day I'm going to put a link below this video to a uh, YouTuber who I follow. He's also a targeted individual. His channel's name is like First Amendment for Constitutional Rights or something like that. It's a long name. But anyways, I'll put the link below. But his name is Robert. And uh, he has done some excellent work showing how people in the United States are being singled out by the federal government and having their lives destroyed and being killed. He's done an excellent job of showing the links between the Department of Homeland Security, local police, the fusion centers, the FBI and the feds, other federal agencies, and showing how Americans are being systematically stalked and murdered. It's sad. I never thought I'd be in a place in my life where I would have to, you know, share this information. But the truth is the American government is assassinating people. And we will prove this in our coming videos. So, you know, I encourage you to please check out the links below and uh, you will get to see what is really happening in the United States. Well, guys, I tell you, I'm really, really tired. I'm still healing. Uh, these directed energy weapons really beat a person up. If you don't believe that there are directed energy weapons, I would encourage you to research uh, the recent news from Cuba. The American diplomats uh, in Cuba were attacked using sonic weapons, which are a form of directed energy weapons. That was covered on CNN and all the major news outlets. Uh, they're using these very weapons on targeted individuals all over the country. I encourage you to look up the following terms. Targeted individuals, gang stalking, and directed energy weapons. If you put in targeted individuals in YouTube, you will see how many people have videos posted of their testimonies, of their torture and terror at the hands of the United States government. It is truly terrifying, very sobering. Anyways, thank you for being with me today, guys. I'm going to get some rest. I love you guys. We'll be back here hopefully tomorrow if Psycho Bob survives. And uh, tomorrow's Friday, so we'll have UFO Friday. So hopefully we'll see you then. And until then, may you always blessed be.